an unusual plant. <laughs> Ooh, you're going in my collection. Huh? What are you? A fish? On land? This, Katie. <laughs> you make it far too easy, Leo. Uh, bird? Butterfly. No, flying fox. <laughs> uh, flying horse? What? No, I'm a real animal. I give up. What are you? I'm a musical mandolin moth. That's a real animal? <sighs> Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Leo. I've got a problem. I'm in a nature reserve in Indonesia, and there's a fish out of water. Oh, no. What's it doing there? Well, it's moving a little. Hmm. Let's find out more about this fish on the computer. Stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> There it is. The fish Zari found is a walking catfish. Walking catfish are native to Southeast Asia, but some have made their way to other regions, including America. They can grow to almost half a meter in length. Their body is usually grayish brown. The walking catfish can actually survive for many hours on land. They move around, in and out of water, looking for food or a better place to live. They are covered in slippery mucus instead of scales. This mucus protects their body when they are out of water. Did you hear that, Zari? The walking catfish can survive out of the water. Glad to hear that. Maybe it's just looking for food. Huh? What is it, Zari? There's another catfish. And our catfish seems really slow. What if it's lost or injured? Don't worry, Zari. We'll be there soon to help you. Ranger out. Let's go help that walking catfish. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Hi, Zari! How's the catfish doing? Hi, guys. Not too great. Let's help it get to the nearest river or pond, since we don't know how long it's been out of water. Let's put the catfish into that bucket first. I'll go get some water. But how do we get the catfish into the bucket? I'll use this. should be easy. Here you go. Ugh, it's really slippery. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! I was studying tadpoles nearby when I saw you rangers trying to put that catfish in a bucket. We want to move it to a pond. The question is, if it wants to go there. Let's call our friend Ranger Joey. 
the ranger who's no stranger to land-loving fish. Hello, Ranger Joey. Oh, hi, Ranger Rocky. Our junior rangers here have a little situation with a walking catfish. It's moving much slower than other catfish. Could it be hurt? Hmm, that's possible. But walking catfish could move slower for other reasons. Maybe it's looking around to find an ideal home, or it's looking for food. To protect itself from predators, the walking catfish has a sharp spine behind its fins that can give a painful sting. While it's called the walking catfish, it does not really walk. Instead, it moves its body back and forth on land, almost like a snake. It can stay out of water for up to 30 hours. Thanks for all the information, Ranger Joey. You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. Ah, I just got an emergency call about tadpoles hatching. I'll have to check on them. Sure thing, Ranger Rocky. We'll take care of the walking catfish. Bye, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Oh, no. We have to save the catfish from those monkeys. Let's try distracting them. It's not working. Do you guys have any food? Very yummy. Take this, Hero. Take it far away. Phew! It worked! We should get the catfish to water quick. How about that pond over there? Looks great. Let's go. Should we try scooping the catfish again? Good job, Hero! That way! Yes! It's working, guys! Yay! We did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished! I'm glad we helped the walking catfish find a home! <laughs> Hero! <laughs> you look like a fish pretending to be a cat! Hey! I want to join! Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers.